Hey to all craft beer lovers. Yeah, we got another beer on the table. The sun is shining and it's the first beer of the evening. Going back to Gothenburg in Sweden, the craft beer capital, of course, one can say in Sweden. Taking a look at this baby. Don't know if you can see it there, guys. The uh, lightning is kind of awful in here. But Spike Brewery, going back to them, and it's their Who Dat, described as an IPA. A single hop Galaxy IPA at that, uh, weighing in at 6.5%, uh, 440 standard mill can, uh, just a plain Jane can there, silver can with the sticker on it there, uh, containing malted barley, wheat, oats, and that's it. Okay, so there you go, guys, kind of nice graffiti style of label. There you go, who that? Yeah. So, with that said, let's pop that can, see what we get. There we go. Yeah, touch of smoke. Let's see what this one brings to the table then. Oh yeah, give it a good old rapid pour. There we go. Right. Oh, it certainly looks the part. So, Spike, they're doing some good beers overall, I think. Have tasted some beers from these guys that have been so-so, but most beers are very, very nice indeed. All right, oh, that smells lovely. So, look at that, guys, there you go, there you have it. What do we have? One to one and a half fingers worth of a nice, bright, white, shining head, small bubbles on top. I don't know if you can see it well enough there, guys, but it is more so, as I see it, a, a rich-looking uh, beer. Nice golden color, looks a little bit more dark golden here on camera, but I see it as a little bit more lighter color. Anyways, there we go. Let's see what we get. Aroma. Yeah, so a lovely, lovely tropical burst of uh, on the nose there. Oh yeah, they got the classical mango, pineapple. Yeah, with a little bit of a floral, uh, hoppy vibe lurking about in there. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. As I'm rocking the beer in front of my nose, uh, that hoppiness comes forth a little bit more. Yeah, definitely flor floral. Floral on the nose with a little bit of tropical fruits. Yeah, I mean, that smells very nice. So with that said, guys, let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, that's hops. That's a lot of hops in there. Mm. Not bad, not bad at all. So, okay, first let's start with the body of the beer. As I suspected, the body is quite rich actually. Mm. Quite rich, gloopy for being a IPA. Definitely a lot of hops on the taste as I got on the nose. And that rich body pro kind of pushes that, kind of pronounces that hop flavor even more. Mm. Let's go for another one before we start to dissect the taste a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it definitely got some initial orangey, grapey, tropical uh, notes. Then it kind of quickly moves over into that more kind of earthy, floral, hoppy vibe. Mm. Leaving me with a pretty, li pretty well lingering... Uh, Hop sensation on the tongue and on the palate, actually. That richness of that body kind of enhances that experience with the hops as well. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, guys. Uh, yeah, look at that. Nice presentation of the beer as I uh, swirl the beer around a little bit, leaving, leave, yeah. Yeah, that li little bit of lacing leaves a little bit of lacing on the glass. Yeah, final sip. Mm. Mm. 
So there's definitely a, a little bit of hint of sweetness initially as well. Nice, sweet, tropical, uh, rich beer initially. Then it kind of quickly moves over into a more hop-dominated uh, flavor spectrum there. Earthy, floral. Oh yeah, oh yeah, lots of hops. Spicy, spicy at the back end with a hop spicy back end to it as well. Uh, yeah, for me, good beer. Uh, who that from Spike Brewery out of Gothenburg in Sweden. Not bad, 440 ml can, 6.5%. Alcohol is very well concealed. Uh, mm, yeah, not bad at all actually. For me, uh, 3.75 out of 5. Thanks for watching.